Talk 1470 is WWNN Pompano Beach and 95.3 FM W237BD Boca Raton. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. 1470 AM and 95.3 FM. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. Tune in for spiritual downloads with your host, Anna Stevenson. Saturdays at 4 p.m. WNN. When our air conditioning system went down last summer, we were lucky to have a neighbor in the air conditioning business. Phil Thomas AC and Heating, 50 years, family owned and operated, and always reliable. Phil was at my house in no time. The problem was my AC coils were clogged with dirt and algae. Phil explained that an AC system is like a car. If you want it to run effectively, you have to have it cleaned and tuned up periodically. Phil removed the AC coils, gave them a professional acid wash, and then tuned the entire unit. When he was done, it was blowing ice cold air. And the fact is that 75% of the service calls performed by Phil Thomas AC are completed on the initial visit at an average cost of under $100. Phil Thomas will never sell you an AC unit you don't need, and the prices are always low. Phil Thomas AC, call 954-434-4576. Tell them Steve Kane sent you. I'm Ben Utech. I played high school, college, and pro football, helping my team win the 2006 championship. It was an amazing day, but it can't compare to the joy I feel every day with my loving wife and three beautiful daughters. My football career ended after I suffered my fifth concussion. Did you know that over a million athletes suffer a concussion each year? That includes boys and girls, every age, every type and level of sport. It isn't always clear that a player has had a concussion. So parents, athletes, and coaches need to learn about concussion signs and symptoms. The American Academy of Neurology recommends athletes thought to have a concussion be immediately removed from play and not returned until assessed by a healthcare professional trained in concussion. This isn't just about sports. It's about your brain. When in doubt, sit it out. Learn more at aan.com slash concussion. That's aan.com slash concussion. A message from the American Academy of Neurology. Talk 1470 and 95.3 FM, the Health and Wealth Radio Network. Don't miss Community Conversations with Tanoa Lin Poye, Fridays at 5 p.m. WNN. We served our country like those before us. It was a dangerous era. All of Vietnam was dangerous. The carnage of war left an indelible mark on me. We came back and built lives. As time went on, we faced new challenges and found support to handle them. I went to the VA, talked to my doctor. I started doing groups. I started doing one-on-one counseling. At MakeTheConnection.net, you can hear our stories and find tools and services available to you. Talk here. (laughs) Talk there. Talk 1470 AM and 95.3 FM, the Health and Wealth Radio Network. WNN. The opinions expressed in the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show, the place to fine-tune your swing, dress for the course, club, or cruise, and get tips on the best places to play and stay at the right price. Vacation or staycation, host Dan Shube, along with his expert co-hosts and guests, will tell you where to go. To play golf and vacation, that is. Now, here's Dan. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show. I'm your host, Dan Shube, and tonight, like we always do, we're going to talk a little bit of golf. We're going to talk some travel I've got some uh, incredible deals, so uh, if you're looking to get out of town or if you know some people that want to travel somewhere with you or uh, meet you someplace, perhaps, uh, you know, we usually have something, so, some stuff that's close, some stuff that's far, uh, but the deals are abounding, and of course, travel or golf makes a great holiday gift, so we've been talking about that for the past couple of weeks, and we're going to keep talking about that until everybody's done shopping, so... Uh, why don't we kick it right off with a little bit of golf first, which is what we like to do. So um, we will get started. And uh, this week we um, uh, the um, we anyway, have enough of that music. We can cut that back if you want. 
<laughs> Thank you. All right. So uh, what used to be known as the Shark Shootout is uh, taking place now. Um, it's called the QBE Shootout. Obviously, Greg Norman, the shark, is the guy that uh, started the whole thing. It's not too far from where I'm sitting right now, just across the state in Naples. And, um, you know, something that some of the folks in the past have called the silly season, which has kind of descended upon us when the major events, at least on the PGA Tour, have kind of ended. And um, at this point now... Uh, everybody's waiting for the holidays to be over, the new year to begin, and they've got a couple of things just to keep us interested. So um, this this is a cool event. It's actually a uh, team event, two-player team event, and it's taking place, like I said, in Naples, so not, not too far away. It's uh, Tiburon, which is at the Ritz-Carlton in Naples, a beautiful Greg Norman design, of course. And um, what's really interesting about it is uh, the PGA Tour players are all playing in these two-man teams, um, however, there is one team that's not a two-man team. It's a one man and a one woman, which is uh, Lexi Thompson. So she was invited to play as well. Uh, some of the players that are out there uh, playing include uh, folks like Bubba Watson and Brant Snedeker and Steve Stricker and Graham McDowell and Keenan Bradley, Keegan Bradley. So um, it's it's a good field. It 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 kicked off today. I'm not going to talk too much about who's in the lead because it really. Uh, doesn't matter. We'll see what happens come Friday, but there still is golf to, to watch. And, um, you know, if, if you get a chance to, to go see golf anywhere, it's, it's, it's always good. And it's a little bit too late maybe for, uh, talking about a gift for, uh, for this weekend, but perhaps for next weekend, if you don't mind giving someone a, a little bit of an early holiday gift, um, there is great golf that's in the area again. And this is just a little bit to the north of where I'm sitting, which is another Ritz Carlton property, which is the Ritz Carlton Orlando. Next week is the PNC Father Son Challenge. And I've been covering the Father Son Challenge since it began, which is probably more than 20 years ago. Uh, they may have missed a year or two here and there, but, um, I've interviewed many of the, uh, the champion stores, uh, golfers that have played on, uh, on the event, uh, people like Hal Irwin, for instance, uh, and his son, and, um, a couple of the other guys as well. And the, the players that play, um, obviously the fathers, or in many cases, the grandfathers at this point, uh, they look forward to this event like no other event because, Golfers, um, by by the very nature of their business, uh, they're independent um, business people who travel uh, internationally to earn a living, and uh, they don't typically get the opportunity to spend the time with their children and, and now their grandchildren as they're on the champion store and they're a little bit uh, older. So the, the opportunity to uh, spend a little bit of time, not only time, but actually quality time playing golf with their children or grandchildren is something that they really cherish. And what's cool for uh, folks like you and I is uh, it's not the kind of an event uh, like a major or a Ryder Cup where there's throngs of people. So you can get pretty close uh, to the players. The players are uh, very talkative. People like Lee Trevino, for instance, uh, to have an opportunity to listen to him is, is I mean, it's priceless. So you could get uh, real close. And um, so if you're wondering what to get that golfer, uh, this might be a, a good opportunity to send them over to uh, check out this event. So you could go to pncfathersonchallenge.com and get all the information about tickets and uh, head on up there. I recommend it. I've covered many of, uh, of these events and uh, always worth my time. Um, speaking of events, there's an event that I talk about uh, always because this one happens to take place across the street from my office. So it doesn't get any easier than that. I typically don't cover PGA Tour events. I, I have a day job, as many of you know, um, so I, I can't just up and leave. Uh, not to mention the fact, as you also know, I don't typically talk too much depth about tour events because our show... Um, as you all know, it not only airs live on WNN on, on Friday nights from 7 to 8, but it reruns on Sundays from 6 to 7 on our sister station, WSBR, um, 740 uh, AM, 96.9 FM and 103.9 uh, FM. Um, so whatever I talk about on Friday obviously is, you know, yesterday's news on Sunday. Uh, however, the Honda Classic, I always go to at least on Thursday and Friday because, like I say, my office is across the street. Sometimes I also go down on Saturday or Sunday. And it, it's certainly one of the premier events um, on the tour. And, uh, you know, played in, in Palm Beach Gardens at uh, PGA National uh, Resort, which is just a wonderful place. But uh, just this week they announced um, the beginning uh, of the folks who are um, uh, signing up to play 
in the event, making their announcements uh, on their schedule, at least the early year schedule. And the first announcement was a previous uh, champion, a 2012 champion. Um, he happens to be on a break right now for three months. He's been recovering from a rib injury. Uh, starting to feel better, though, from what I've heard. Um, four-time major champion, Rory McIlroy. So that's just the very beginning. I, I would not be surprised. Uh, it's always one of the top fields. Uh, a lot of the players live in the area. So, you know, they're home. And, and of, of course, the, the, the main player that uh, hopefully is going to make the announcement soon as well that he's going to be playing in the event. And, of course, that would be Tiger Woods. We, we spoke briefly about him last week. And uh, he played uh, last week in his own event, the Hero World Challenge. And uh, he had three sub-70 rounds. Um, looked really good, was in contention. Uh, his third round was a little bit weak, and uh, if not for that, he, he would have been right in the, the uh, you know, contention on Sunday. So the question is, is, is how good is he? Is he truly back, and can he handle, um, you know, the rigors of playing on a regular basis? And he's already said that he is going to be playing uh, a reasonable amount to get himself, <coughs> excuse me, get himself in shape. So um, we'll see, but I would expect that he's going to be playing in his own backyard at the Honda as well. I'd be shocked if if he doesn't. Um, not only is he feeling really good about his golf game, he's feeling so good about it that he actually is out there uh, talking about other golf topics. Uh, you know, being a spokesman for the game, which um, you know, obviously after his uh, fall from grace um, with his recent DUI issues. Uh, you would think that he might be a little bit more quiet, but um, he came out on a topic that's been uh, associated with him since the very beginning of his career, and that is uh, the length of golf courses, how far um, PGA professionals can hit the ball, and what to do about it to not make golf courses obsolete. Of course, he designs golf courses as well um, as playing on them, and you know the opinion is is that you can only make a golf course so long, and if um, equipment keeps improving. Clubs keep getting better. Players keep getting um, better as far as their workouts and, and their abilities uh, as they refine uh, their ability to hit the ball far. And, of course, golf balls. So he came up and said that, you know, the golf ball, it's time that we should uh, do something about that. So um, we'll be following that and seeing. Uh, it's something that Jack Nicklaus for years has been advocating, that perhaps there should be one ball. Everybody hits the same ball. Um, in, in sports, in all sports, typically everybody uses the same ball. I mean, there could be a football game in New York and another one in L.A., and they're all using the exact same ball. They don't have different ones. Uh, I mean, we had that, I guess, with Tom Brady, where he wanted to make uh, the football to his specifications. Uh, he got in a little bit of trouble, kind of, for that. Um, but golf is different. Everybody has a different golf ball made by different manufacturer. And um, some folks, like, for instance, um, I think it was uh, Dustin Johnson who came out uh, and he's one of the longest hitters that is out there. And he said that it would actually help somebody like him if everybody had to play the same ball. And then it was the the player's ability that made more of a difference than the equipment did. So um, it'll be interesting to see how much uh, more vocal Tiger is uh, as he continues to get out there and play. And uh, and we'll see what happens um, with the golf ball. Um, another interesting story, a, a bit of a sad story that I heard this past week and um, that uh, involved a golfer, a PGA Tour pro, uh, by the name of Morgan Hoffman. He was uh, diagnosed with muscular dystrophy, and uh, he's only 28 years old, and um, he started to notice some issues with his muscles back in 2011. And uh, after five years of misdiagnoses and tests, it, he was uh, last year diagnosed um, with muscular dystrophy, and he's going to continue to play. Um, he, he finished uh, 81st last year on the FedEx points list, so... Um, he's playing quite well, and, and obviously he's going to have to um, have a special regimen to, to keep himself in, in playing condition. And, you know, it's just interesting to hear how the game of golf at any level, whether it is uh, at the amateur ranks or um, even at the very top of the game, that it, it is a game where uh, people can overcome uh, issues that they have and still be able to play it at a particular level. Obviously, at, at you know, the PGA Tour level, um, it's not, it's going to be difficult for him, but, uh, I'll be interesting to see. I'll be, I'll certainly be rooting for him and hopefully we'll get to see him competing and, uh, and that would be pretty cool. Um, for, as for golf, I think we're going to wrap the golf portion up, but I, I wanted to mention just briefly this past week, I was supposed to, uh, go, um, on the Fort Lauderdale water taxi. It, we had, uh, um, them on as a guest, um, 
uh, uh, let's see, it was oh, a couple of months back, back in the summer, and uh, I was invited to come out there and, and check it out, and uh, unfortunately, I got stuck in just some absolutely horrible traffic, and I couldn't make it, but I, I really regret that. I, I wish I could have. Um, Philip Burroughs is, is the gentleman. He's their director of sales and marketing, who was our guest a couple of months back, but I just wanted to let everybody know that they still are having their special holiday light cruises, and um, they will be taking place um let's see uh let me give you the advanced stuff so december 11th through december 23rd at 6 p.m and at 8 p.m uh it le- it's a 90 minute round trip tour it leaves from the hilton marina which is underneath the 7th, 17th street causeway bridge in fort lauderdale they've got um onboard live entertainment a cash bar with holiday cocktails uh, holiday drinks for kids, and of course you can see all of the beautiful lights on the uh, wonderful homes that dot the intercoastal, and um, it's it's just pretty cool. And, and again, I regret that I couldn't make it. It's only twenty five dollars for adults, uh, children under twelve or fifteen, and to me that that is a party on water. So uh, I recommend that you check it out. Let me get the contact information if I can find it for you. Uh, Watertaxi dot com. Go check that out. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be back with some travel news. You're not going to want to miss it, so stay tuned for more of the Golf and Travel Show. And we are back. And if your business needs industrial workers or if you're looking for work, you got to call Labor Finders. Labor Finders places for temporary or temporary to hire opportunities for skilled, semi-skilled, or general labor positions, such as plumbers, electricians, concrete workers, forklift operators, hospitality, office clerical, and so much more. Labor Finders has almost 200 offices nationwide. Near here in Boca Raton, they have offices in Homestead, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and in Jupiter. So if you need legal insured workers or if you're looking for work, there's many opportunities. So call Labor Finders toll free at 800-864-7749. That's 800-864-7749 or visit laborfinders.com. And I thought that it's um, it's close enough to the season that we can start playing a little bit of holiday music. I, I'm not in favor of the folks that are playing Christmas music before Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving is past and it, it's time. And that particular cut is an interesting cut. That's um, obviously the Boss Bruce Springsteen live. That was uh, the fall of 1975, uh, CW Post College on Long Island. I was sitting in the front row center, uh, smashing hands with uh, the boss. And uh, was as surprised as anybody to hear him do that song, uh, wearing a, a, a green um, uh, knit ski cap. And, uh, of course, Clarence uh, had his Santa uh, hat on. And um, it, it was an event that I, I, I can't remember most of the concerts I've been to back in the day. But uh, that is one that I certainly will never forget. So we get to hear that every year, Christmas time. And it, it brings back some memories from, from my alma mater. Um, they don't have a football team, but they had some really good concerts, especially back in the day. 
Um, what I would like to talk about briefly is, uh, once again, uh, disasters. Unfortunately, they happen from time to time, and, and this has been a bad season. And as it turns out, some of my offices are right in the middle of the wildfires that are happening uh, in Southern California and other parts of California, and it's really bad this time. Um, I, I saw a picture of somebody who works for my company, his house, and, and behind his house, it was all aglow. I mean, the, the sky... The sky's on fire. I think Stevie Ray Vaughan said saying that once, but um, literally the the sky is on fire and it's it's coming out of the, of the air. Um, a lot of attractions out in California are closed. Uh, things like the the Getty Museum, which I, I mean, the, I can't imagine the value of the treasures that are in there. I hope that's all secure. That you know that the 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 smoke and um, uh, the fire doesn't uh, do any harm to that stuff because it's certainly not replaceable. The the Griffith Observatory is is currently closed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, L.A. Uh, uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain, um, the Hammer Museum. Uh, there's other advisories for the San Fernando Valley coastal areas. I mean, this is big. It's it's all over uh, right in the L.A. area. Um, places uh, like Bel Air where. Obviously, the rich and famous and Hollywood's best live there. Some of the most beautiful homes in the country are all at risk. And, um, you know, my, my heart and my prayers go out to the, the folks out there that are battling this because this is um, it, it's really uh, worse than I've ever seen it. So uh, anybody who's planning to travel out to California, uh, you may want to um, keep an eye on where the fires are and uh uh, some of the airlines, of, of course, like they typically do, are uh, relaxing some of their rules as far as uh, changing flights and postponing trips and, and things like that. Uh, some of the fees that they might charge, you may be able to get waived. So keep that in mind. Um, and, and speaking of the airlines, I, I do, um, you know, typically talk about the airlines. I always like to talk and critique my own trips and uh, keep you appraised of some of the reviews and the upgrades and the changes and, of course, the the ugly uh, you know, when, when they're beating up people and, and throwing them off planes and, uh, just doing bad stuff too. But, um, more often than not, there's, there's, there's good these days. I think the airlines are focusing on, uh, improving their levels of service, which is wonderful for you and, 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 uh, for me and for all of us. Um, but, you know, I mentioned that I talk about the ugly and here's a good ugly story. And, um, the first time in their, uh, uh, history, uh, they decided to do a promotion and I'm talking about Alaska Airlines. And on December 15th, they're going to be celebrating National Ugly Holiday Sweater Day, which, I mean, to me, that whole concept is pretty funny where people, you know, once a year, they, they go and they, they take out these really, you know, I, I mean, you, you have to like shield your cornea so that it doesn't burn bad sweaters. And uh, what they're going to do is, is, is throughout their 115 city network, and that includes all of their partners, so um, Virgin America, of course, that Alaska Air uh, bought not long ago, and Horizon, um, on that date, on December 15th, well, first of all, they're going to have holiday-themed boarding music all month long to get you in the spirit, but if you're wearing a ugly holiday sweater, you're going to get special perks. You're going to be able to board the plane early. <laughs> so uh, they tell you you should try and get there about two hours before so that you can take advantage of this, but... Um, I can't imagine what it's going to be like, you know, waiting for a plane and looking at all of these silly people dressed in their um, really hideous sweaters. So, but congratulations, you know, as a marketing guy, when when I'm not here on the radio, I, I do marketing. And um, I like people that uh, have fun with marketing. I like people that think outside the box. And uh, so kudos to Alaska Airlines for their first annual Ugly Sweater Day uh, promotion. So that, that should be a lot of fun. Um, uh, also, on the good side is, is that, Airlines, you know, it's very competitive out there, and for a while they've been making some money, so they've been reinvesting in upgrading and improving. And uh, here's an airline that's always amongst the top two or three best-rated airlines in the world, and that would be Emirates. And um, they have upgraded their first-class cabin on uh, some of their Boeing 777s to actually have a fully enclosed suite. So you basically have a room that's um, 40 square feet, which, I mean, compared to a hotel room, it's small. But compared to 
for instance, a seat on Spirit that's, you know, vast. And um, I'm looking at a photo and, and the, the, the chair looks kind of like, you know, the most modern, up to date chair that you might um, sit in at a dentist's office, you know, where it just to- totally goes all the way back and you could, you can lay flat and um, you can be in there sipping on your champagne. So, of course, this is uh, their first class and I don't know too many people that have the, the cash for this. Um, it's, uh, I mean, just business class, you know, it could be 10 times the price of economy. So, uh, you're going to have to pay. But if, if you're on an expense account that allows you to play, uh, to fly first class, uh, you may want to check out this, uh, zero gravity bed is what they're calling it. And, uh, it, it comes right on the heels of, um, a competitor of theirs who typically is also rated way up there, uh, often number one, and that would be Singapore Airlines. And they too, um, have recently rolled out on their A380 planes, first class suites as well. And, um, again, I'm, I'm taking a look at this and I see uh, a guy and, and a girl. I'm, I'm assuming they're significant others and it looks like they're in their bedroom in a hotel room, uh, not on an airplane. Um, so I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I, I can't imagine, um, the luxury uh, of, of being able to travel first class like that. I, it's just not something that I'm, I'm able to do. So, um, another thing that relates to the airlines and something that I've been talking about for a long time and, and something that I've been procrastinating on for a long time, which is, um, I admit it, it's not that unusual for me. Maybe, maybe that needs to be my new year's resolution. And that is the value of signing up for either TSA pre-check or global entry programs. And <clears throat> I've been wanting to do it for the longest time. I've been fortunate that I travel so often that it's almost a 50-50 chance that an airline is going to, um, without me having to pay for it, give me the TSA pre. And, of course, the, the benefits are often multiple uh, when you have that privilege. First of all, the, the line can be significantly shorter. Although lately, some people are complaining that it's not that much shorter. But I, I believe the vast majority of people, in most cases, it is shorter. Um, you, you don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to take out your uh, quart size bag with your four ounce and less liquids. Um, your your belt you don't have to take off. Uh, sometimes your, your laptop or your iPad, although those rules are changing, and I, I find them to be different from airport to airport. But what's also, so, so again, this is something I've been meaning to do, and every time I'm not lucky enough to get upgraded to the free um, TSA Pre, uh, I regret it. Um, and main, the main reason is I've been, I've been wanting to get the global entry, because if you pay for the global entry, which is about $15 more than just the TSA Pre, you get the TSA Pre too. TSA Pre is, is only for domestic. The global, of course, gives you perks when you're coming in through customs and immigration, um, from outside the country. So if you ever travel international, it pays to just get the global entry. And I, I, I travel internationally occasionally, but unfortunately the closest place to sign up for that for me is at the, um, um, the port of Palm Beach. Uh, and, and I'm just not over there that much. It's not at the airport. And what was in the news this past week is, is that the TSA is considering a merger of the pre-check program and the global entry program. Even though when you sign up for global entry, you get the benefits of pre-check, they are two separate organizations with two separate staff. And um, the cost of running these two, even though they do very, very similar things, if they merge it together, the hope is is that it will be streamlined and it would be, um, you know, much, uh, uh, well, it'll save a lot of money. Um, for a five-year membership, the TSA pre is $85.00. The global entry is only a hundred dollars, and then, like I say, it comes inclusive of the same benefits of TSA Pre. So it is something I want to do as uh, travel continues to be relatively inexpensive. The lines are only going to continue to get longer, and um, I have learned a long time ago that you know saving money and not spending money is is really cool. But it only takes one or two negative experiences on a day on the road to really ruin a day or a trip. Um, and therefore, that's why uh, um, I have my favorite airlines that are less likely to you know, screw up and, and give me a hard time and mess up my day or my plans. Uh, I go to car rental um, uh, places that are more reputable and don't give me a hard time and don't tell me they don't have a car or they don't have the car of my choice or it's in bad condition. Um, you know, sometimes paying a couple of dollars more. I mean, I don't have the money for the, those first class suites, but 
sometimes you learn your lesson that you know going with the cheapest uh, carrier like a Spirit or like a um, a dollar rent a car. Sometimes it is not in your best interest to do that, and it's worth paying just a couple of dollars more to go with a more reputable uh, client or company. Um, why don't I switch gears a little bit? Uh, well, actually, I got a little bit more from the airlines. There's one last story, another um, potential disaster that's going on, uh, not in the U.S. at least, but um, in Bali. Uh, it seems that um, they've had one of their volcanoes uh, decide that it was uh, time to awaken, 